Welcome to Great Chefs of the Caribbean, featuring the New World cuisine from some of the island's finest chefs, this time from Jamaica, Norma Shirley, from Necker Island, Scott Williams, and from Mexico, Patrick Lassac. Norma Shirley is a native of Jamaica, but has lived in Sweden, Scotland, England, New York, and Massachusetts. When the globetrotting dynamo returned, she settled 18 miles from where she was born. Her restaurant is a hot ticket, and the menu reflects her love of Caribbean food. Here's curried lobster nuggets in papaya. What we're doing here this evening is um, we're doing a lobster dish in papaya and we are an abundance of beautiful papaya solar papas we used to have very large ones now we're down to solar papas because they're more marketable um the fish the fisherman came this morning and bought some wonderful fresh lobster here at norma's we only do fresh things we don't do any frozen food unless it's lamb that's imported but all our seafood are freshly bought every morning what we're going to be doing is we're going to set this on a lovely melange of of greens lettuces and bib um, red leafy red oak and then with the papaya that is ha cut in halves deseeded and deveined and then we're just going to do the lobster meat in a curry sauce so we're just going to be using the, the tail for this recipe we use the heads for other things we can use them for soup but this we just need the meat from this and so what we're doing is just literally dissecting the the, the lobster okay and here's the meat as it unfolds out of the tail and we're just going to cut it up into nuggets and You slice it down and then we're just going to cut it up into nuggets or nice big chunks now after this we're going to squeeze some lime on it it's a sort of Jamaican maybe Caribbean thing we squeeze lime on everything you know just sort of to clean it to cleanse it sort of thing so we just cut our lime we're lime crazy here we don't have lemons we have limes and we're just going to squeeze it. I mean, just it's, I don't know, everybody from my grandmother's days, this was done to seafood, fish, lobster, anything like that. Here. Okay, over here I have my saucier, Pauline, who is going to be doing the, the sauce for the lobster. We're going to use some butter. And to this, we're going to add some garlic paste. And here we have it here, which again, as I said, we, we keep in the fridge that we have done with olive oil. And we're very generous with garlic because it has all these medicinal purposes that they're saying now, you know, that it's good for your heart and for your pressure, for headaches, for everything. And to this, we're going to add some scallion, some parsley, and of course, nothing else but our scotch bonnet, little slivers of scotch bonnet. And please do this to the degree of spiciness you need. You can always add, but you can't take away. And then we're going to add some curry sauce powder. And to this we add some water. Okay. After the sauce ingredients are combined thoroughly, the mixture goes into a blender. What we have done, we have blended it, which gives it a creamy consistency without adding cream to it. And we're just going to put the lobster in it Take 
You just add the lobster to it. This takes about three minutes maximum to cook, if as much. Because if you, the longer you cook it, the rubber, more rubbery <laughs> lobster becomes. So you try not to cook it. And always make your sauce and put your lobster or your seafood, such as shrimp or anything, in the sauce. Not make the sauce with it, creating the sauce with them. You make your sauces. That's my theory. It may not be everybody's, but I think it works well. Where you make the sauce, then you add the, the pieces of shrimp or lobster or fish to it. And it's ready. It's ready. What we're going to do is just place it in the papaya shell. And I find that the curry, the hot with the curry and the sweet of the papaya, it's like a chutney in a sense, but it's our creation. Instead of just globs of chutney, we have created it in this papaya shell. And then we're just going to blend the sauce again, just to smoothen it down and pour over all this, and even on the lettuce leaves. We're going to just dribble the sauce now over the lobster to, and just a little along the lettuce leaves. Okay, and there we are, our finished product. Select and well-heeled guests come to Necca Island, they enjoy the food of Scott Williams, a native of England. He began his training in London, then worked in several restaurants in and around the city. His entree is a straightforward grilled swordfish with ginger soy beurre blanc and crushed potatoes. And then we strain those off. The method for what the chef calls crushed potatoes begins by draining boiled potatoes. And into another pan. Put about half a cup of the olive oil. Don't heat it up. Just warm through your spring onion. After the sliced green onion is wilted, the drained potatoes go into the skillet and are broken up with a spoon. Meanwhile, portions for the grilled swordfish are cut. The fish is seasoned with ground black pepper and a little olive oil. This stovetop grill is quite hot. As you will see, the grill marks are burned in rather quickly. The chef continues with his crushed potatoes, which by the time they are served will resemble lumpy mashed potatoes.
Now chopped parsley is added to the potatoes. Baby carrots, zucchini, and yellow squash were blanched and are heated with a little butter just before presentation. Using two spoons, the chef shapes the potatoes as with canals. Warmed vegetables are seasoned and an unusual ginger infused beurre blanc is presented. deep-fried basil leaves. station at the Ritz-Carlton Cancun is the domain of Patrick Lassac. He apprenticed in his native France, then worked in London, Paris, Nice, and Monaco before coming to the famed Hotel Row in Cancun. His dessert is an impressive banana napoleon with chocolate sapayon. On the day before, a sheet of puff pastry sprinkled with granulated sugar is rolled up jelly roll style. Easy. Like that. What's gonna happen? It's if you make this one the day before, the sugar granulated is gonna be, it's gonna pass liquid inside, and when after you cut, because we're gonna cut like that. When after you cut, you have the sugar granulated, liquid inside. And after, when you put the icing sugar, it's better because you're gonna have a crystallization and caramelization on the top. After, take clean film. Here, like that. Refrigerate this for 24 hours. Okay. The savoyon is started by beating two whole eggs and three egg yolks until pale yellow. It will be combined with a syrup made with sugar and water. Okay, so now, so now we have the, the mix with yolk, eggs, and eggs. The sugar is ready. We're going to put the sugar inside. Like that. This is the name of the savayon. You make like that. Now, I'm gonna, during that I get the savayon cold, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt the gelatin. Gelatin leaves, which were hydrated in cold water, are melted. Be careful not to allow the leaves to come to a boil. It's very 
very fast. One thing very important, you don't need to boil the gelatin. If you boil the gelatin, you're gonna leave all the, um, at the gelatin, all the, um, the quality that they get, that she get. Like that. Okay. Gonna keep here. Tabayon is cold. I'm gonna go down and one little sitting. Melted dark chocolate and soft peak whipped cream are combined. Okay, now I have the chocolate melted and warm. Very important, warm. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chocolate inside the chantilly. It's only whipped cream. I am put the sugar or nothing else. You need to put one time only, like that. Okay, and after. That's it. Take your sabayon. Cold. And you can put inside the gelatin leaves. What you can do is before to put the gelatin like that, you use a pot you know, of sabayon. Like that you can, I don't touch the, the bottom of the teflon, very important. Okay, you mix like that, and I, after you put all together. Like that. Okay. You mix. You need to well incorporate your gelatin inside the savayon, okay? And after, what you can do, two solutions. Or you can put the savayon apart or savayon, like that. And mix, like that. At this moment, you don't need of the um, whisk. Bye bye the whisk. Okay, like that. You put it all inside. The quantity that you get, it's more than four people, but. This sabayon you can eat like that, with uh, biscuit or cookies, and it's perfect. You can use for two pastry, you can use for two days. One day you can make this recipe, and the day before you can use with the cookies. No problem. After you put the boil. Cover with plastic like wrap and refrigerate overnight. The Napoleon layers are made by rolling out pieces of the puff pastry roulade. And put icing sugar, like that. You can turn all the time like that after like that, okay. Very, not very important, but interesting, and you're gonna see the result. If you, if you roll like that, you're gonna keep all the circle like that. It's very important to not to scratch like that because you, you don't get the same result. So one thing very important, you need to get very, very thin your paste. The thin dough can either be cut into squares and baked, or can be baked whole, then cut into squares. Bake at 400 degrees until golden brown. 
Another component of the dessert are banana pieces warmed through in brown sugar and a little water, then flamed with some passion and fruit liqueur. The banana is ready. Yeah, the next time uh, I was near and I lost all the air, you know, so very, very dangerous. In presentation, the cooked banana is separated by puff pastry squares. Like that. Another one. Like that. And after a big one. Made it. A simple sauce is rum-soaked raisins in coconut puree. Coconut sauce. Made it. And after you use a spoon. the savion that you put on the top. Like that. Para conhecer os produtos da linha Great Chef, acesse o site www.superstation.com.br ou ligue para Direct Shopping 011 729 9666.